Hello and welcome to What's Next. I'm Victor Allen and yes, I have to touch upon a subject that I just couldn't avoid. Now wait, before I go there, I'm going to talk about steroids. But I'm still in support of entertainers, artists, and musicians, okay? That indie world is still my love. But I had to touch upon something because I just, I can, all right? Steroids, it's a big issue, right? That all depends. What's more important here? The steroids that we hear about as being abused relates to baseball. Why? Because baseball, mom's apple pie, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it seems to be in an uproar because they can't. And when I say they can't, our general public broadcasting or any Puritans of the baseball world are in an uproar because steroids has kind of taken a step backwards. What I find interesting about the steroid issue is that to me it's really a non-issue. Not because I don't think we need to protect the children's welfare and on their behalf and make sure that they don't go down a road of abuse and using any type of steroids whatsoever. It's really the idea that we're trying to spank the dog a week after they broke the lamp. Doesn't make sense to me. It makes me feel like, you know what, sometimes you can stand behind philosophy or a cause, even if you think it's not right, just by taking a stand. I would give credit more to the baseball fever that's going around now, which really I, doesn't make any difference to me. If by chance one owner, one manager, one spokesman way back 10 years ago or whenever stood up and said, look, we don't have anything implemented now to correct the possible abuse of steroids by the players. And nor can we do that because they are entitled to their rights. But we as a organization, stand by that we do not support this and that there will be some implementation in the future that we're going to work on to rid us of this steroid abuse or usage at this time. Nobody did it. Everybody ignored it. Didn't care. But all of a sudden you're going to wait. You're going to wait much, much, much later and then say, okay, now we're going to go retroactive. Kind of makes me think about scenarios that are not necessarily an analysis to this, but it made me think of something in the story of Saddam Hussein. Now, I'm not trying to get on the Iraqi thing. I'm just trying to relate something that was an atrocity. It was like, uh, I think in 1988, use nerve gas. Okay, nerve gas. Then nobody really did anything about it. I wonder why. Maybe because when the 5,000 or more people died, it wasn't important. Now, all of a sudden, it's years later, and I'm going, well, we should, somebody should do something back then, but now, at the time, when, of course, he invaded Iraq and everything, it was based on, what, circumstantial evidence? That was more than enough. And I tried to equate the value of it. I tried to say, the move we made here, as a country, or our administration, was based on circumstantial evidence, right? That's all it was, circumstance. But going back to the baseball, here's a case where they didn't even want to take a stand. They were protecting their interests. Really what baseball is doing is keeping its fan base growing and does not want to suffer from that. You have other sports that are climbing the charts. And what I mean by that, NASCAR is growing big. I'm a NASCAR fan. You got other sports that's coming up the ranks too. So is it really about the steroid abuse or is it about the growing community of baseball? You don't want to see it pitch out because there's abusive behavior relating to steroids within baseball. I know this much. I may not agree with the steroid uh, usage and abuse, but I absolutely don't understand how you can make something retro when none of you, part of the organization of baseball, said a word whatsoever back then. So either you're totally blind, totally ignorant, combination of both, and trying to show your compassion, your fever for getting things done, or corrective action, and in the eyes of the public, it's minutia. I don't know. What's next?